Hello everybody, it's Jeff from AZ Camera Reviews and today I'm going to talk to you about this product which uh, will go on my DJI Osmo Mobile. Now this product is not made by DJI, it's a uh, DJI Osmo Universal Mount Pro. And the reason I decided on this product was, number one, it's longer than the DJI product. I like the way it's made. I think it's made better. And it also has two microphone um, things that you can clip either a microphone or a light or whatever into. For this particular one, I'm only going to use um, one of these attachments for a microphone because I have something else that I use for a light. The other thing is I like to mount the microphone more towards the outside so then that way I can put the tripod when I when I mount it on the tripod closer to the inside then that way you don't have as much moment hanging off the end of the tripod so then that way the chances of falling over are a lot less so I'm gonna show you what's in this box on close-up and then I'm gonna assemble it and let you watch watch me assemble it so we'll catch you on the close-up so here's a little bit of a close-up on the inside of the box as you'll notice we have the two mic clips and then we have two screws and then the actual bracket so what we're gonna do is we'll we're only gonna work with with the bracket and we're gonna use one of the the holders and we're gonna use one of the screws so we'll take those out of the box like this so now what we do is we're, what we're gonna do is take this and put it basically where we want it and this is going to be uh, away from the actual Osmo and this will go towards the Osmo so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this put it in place turn it over and then we're gonna take this screw and put it in the bottom like so and we'll tighten it up and that's basically all you need to do with this now I'll show you how we're going to attach it to the actual Osmo now I'm going to show you how to mount the DJI Osmo Universal Mount Pro onto a DJI Osmo Mobile now as we all know on the side of the DJI Osmo Mobile there's this little screw what you want to do is you want to unscrew that and underneath is this little connection mechanism so what you're going to do is you're going to take this product here and you're going to place it on your Osmo and you're going to take this back screw and you're going to screw it in like so once it's tight I want to make sure it's all the way in once it's tight inside the screw you're going to take this other screw and you're going to back it in until it tightens it up so okay so now you can see it's on the the Osmo and it's nice and tight and now I'm going to show you what I do with this when I mount it on the tripod so now we have everything put together I have my phone on my DJI Osmo mobile I've got the uh, the bracket on here which is the uh, Universal Pro and you'll notice that I have it at 90 degrees so it's not up it's not down it's it's just level and um, if you watch my videos on AZ camera reviews you can either look back or you'll remember that I had made this little modification so that when you turn the camera on or when you turn your Osmo on it automatically is perfectly balanced so see how nice that comes up so you'll know 
from watching my videos that I really, really like this Siri PS. Uh, it's a 204 PS. And when I say my tripod, I always mean my monopod because I love this thing. But one word of caution is when you're mounting this on, on, on the Siri is you should always use a sandbag. And the reason I say that is so that when you have the sandbag on the bottom of this, the chances of it falling over are greatly diminished. So as a word of caution, always use a sandbag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the Siri on the bottom of the universal. Now there's, there's one center hole here, and what you'll do is you'll find that center hole, and you're going to line that up on this, and you're going to screw it on like so until it's tight you see how nice everything is all balanced up and then we're going to put our sandbag on the bottom and you can elevate this as much as you want if you want you can put the auto track on here and you can stand in the front and it'll move with you uh, there's there's an addition that I'll put on to um, the comments underneath my uh, my actual video of, of this what you're watching now it's for a plate that you can mount on here so you can take this on and off easier so you don't have to twist it um, on and off all the time it makes the handling a lot easier in my next video I'm going to show you how you can put a Y adapter on this so then that way you can get um, decent sound out of it. So until next time, Jeff from AZ Camera Reviews saying watch us, like us, subscribe, and share.